Today, we're gonna take a quick look at this stream doc by MT Vicky. It is a relatively new stream doc on the market, an alternative to the Elgato stream deck. So we're gonna see if this is actually an alternative. It is essentially a hotkey macro key hardware device to set up shortcuts, key combinations for performing a number of actions on your computer, whether you're doing OBS, Streamlabs, anything like that. This can be hotkeys for those functions in those applications. And it can also be hotkeys for performing basic tasks on your computer, like launching a browser or playing music or even switching cameras if you have a multiple camera setup. So let's unbox it and see what we get and see if it's worth going this route versus the Elgato Stream Deck. Let's take a look. Here we are with the MT Dash Vicky. Do I have to say Dash? MT Vicky device, our awesome little stream dock. That's what they call it. And well, nothing too spectacular about the boxing itself, but you do see that there are plenty of logos from applications and streaming services here on the top and you even got a little Pac-Man there. I don't know why, but let's see what we get in our box for 116 bucks. Not exactly a budget option. This is right in line with the Elgato stream deck pricing. So let's see what we get off the top. We get some decals for our covers. We have a nice little gradient from pink to blue. We have some green decal and some other decal here with some other colors. All right, so you get three options for decal. Uh, you can either choose to leave it black or use one of these if you like. If I had to choose, I might use something like this right here, but let's see which one I end up going with. It's gonna be one of these two. Look at what we get as far as accessories in this little black case. We get a nice long USB-C to USB-A cable here. So, and it looks like the actual USB-C header has an angle to it. So you have it at a right angle or left, depending which way you orient it. And we get our stand here. I see that there are some levels there. If you look very closely, looking on the back of the stand, you'll see that there's two notches only, but then there's this third one here that sticks out on the top, which can make it really low. So uh, I guess with this, you'll have like, it's really the same no matter which side you put. That will be your third step. So that's one. And then you have these two, two and three. So not bad. And four, if you want to consider flat being an option. Of course, you're going to get your instructions, how to connect it, set it up and what some of the features are. These are some of the things to expect it to kind of guide you in quick setup, right? How to set up some of the keys, the angles at which you can angle your device, which are three levels. And last but not least, let's go ahead and dig out our, oh, this feels very small and thin. Let's dig out our little empty Vicky stream doc out of our bag here. And all right, this is what you are going to get in your box kind of cool here it's pretty matte to the touch this front piece right here is metal okay and you have yourself 15 glossy buttons pretty cool has a pretty eh, kind of thin profile a little bit wedged as you can see there and on the back of course just some feet and the usb port is on the top of this device i probably would have preferred it on the back maybe but we're gonna see how we can configure that with the USB on the top. I guess that's exactly why you have a right angled cable header for the USB-C. Okay, the buttons themselves are not very noisy. I'm gonna put it next to the mic. Not so bad, a little bit of a rubbery feel on the back end of that, nice gasket. Okay, I like that. It, wasn't, it won't make any noise in your stream or your recordings when you go to press a particular button here. I'm going to go with the, I don't know what color spectrum this is. It's more like a, a dark colored decal. I'm going to use this as my decal for my device because why not? If you don't like any of these, which they're a little bit generic, but depends on your flavor. It may look really nice to your eyes, right? That's really just a matter of preference. Whoop! I messed it up already. Wow. This is really sticky.
All right, so this is the decal I decided to go with. Not the easiest to lay down, but not that difficult either. All right, taking the game is here we are plugged in with our stream dock by MT Vicky and plugging it in. What I see here is mirror box. So it looks like they have sourced their device from mirror box themselves because well, why else would it say mirror box, right? What the tricky thing to do is to read instructions of the manual that it comes with because you can't just search MT Vicky software download and find it online because you won't find it like that in the instructions you will see that it gives you the site for the windows and mac download for this application to manage your uh, your hardware here be sure to follow that the website is very simple it is key123.vip forward slash win for windows mac for mac and you will find that it just doesn't take it to a site it just automatically starts downloading the application the app will show as stream dock installer and well what we're gonna do is just run the installer Norton has destroyed the installer my god okay can I restore this let's restore it exclude this yes we're gonna exclude it and we're gonna restore it be sure to run this as an administrator click next stream deck doc click next install and well we are installing all right in your face we have the app in all of its beautiful glory and now with the app installed it's automatically detected and we see our awesome device right here in our face cool and you have some icons um i don't know what icons or macros or shortcuts it added to this device. We're gonna take a look at that on our desktop. All right, so just a quick overview of the actual application we have here. So just looking at the top left, it looks like it takes us to an app store. So there is a app store for this device. That's right, you can get a number of plugins here, which work, which don't, I don't know. Sometimes these plugins don't actually work per se so some plugins look like they're already installed like memo notes and social media and youtube live and stuff so because i can see them on the deck already so there are wow a lot of categories for installing a number of plugins i'll probably do a follow-up video just to show you which plugins are probably must-haves or definitely want to have for your stream doc. So for a number of apps, you can probably just do a search for particular icons you may need for your application. I don't know if it has everything. It looks like there are bundles of icons depending on what you use. So if I use DaVinci Resolve, I can install 50 icons designed for Resolve. So if I click into it, it gives me a little bit more information for DaVinci Resolve. And well, if you are like myself that use the DaVinci Resolve, I probably would use this. You can install it. And then we have a number of tutorials. All right, so let's go ahead and close out this store. Going right along, we have tutorials. Uh, I wonder if that takes you straight to the page. Yep, same page. We have uh, settings here. So we have some device settings. We can check for updates which I'm gonna do right away. This is the latest, okay, most current version. Cool Beans, English, power on, minimize, and application folder. So this will take you straight to the application folder for the Steam Dock. Not sure why I would need that. I guess maybe to manage maybe some icons or plugins or something. Uh, device, and this is the firmware update. We can check for a firmware update and we are on the current firmware. So nothing to do here. Automatic screen off, follow the system. We can turn it off with a timer or we can turn it off when the system turns off. I'm gonna leave it to turn off with the system. You can control your brightness here, but I actually have a button for controlling the brightness. Info board. This is to show you your different boards. Wow, there are a lot of pages we can actually connect here, but this is your info board. I probably would change a couple of these. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but I do like some of these settings, getting to my C drive fast, controlling the brightness and toggling through different pages. But I probably would change some of these particular buttons. Music console, so this is to add buttons for controlling music. Obviously fast forward, stop, increase the volume, decrease the volume and mute. Pretty snazzy to have. All right, moving right along on this 
software we have over here we have default scene we can add or we can select it and remove it yes i want to delete that scene and then we have a button here to edit a scene so we can go here and edit scenes which is the same as going up to your settings scenes all right and down here you have two different docs you have the 293 and the 293s which i do not have so we are working with the 293 we'll keep it on that and it keeps the image there as seen you can click through your pages let's look over here on the right we have stream doc so these are all the settings for the stream doc itself next page previous page you can configure these as buttons toolbox these are shortcuts for hotkeys for setting up hotkeys and for website keys mouse keys you get the idea open up applications you can set those here and set the application to open awesome if you're tired of entering passwords you have that here audio player you can play stop audio operation flow i like that it has a particular uh setup here for obs right you have your own obs tab and you can set all these particular buttons which are the most common buttons that are available for obs so if you want to record you can set that as a record button which is one i will use one for stream definitely virtual camera scene changing your scene source of visibility that's kind of awesome and so on and so forth transitions that's kind of cool you want to have a transition button moving right along useful notes things to remember this will bring up your memos weather inquiry calendar switch audio devices awesome and time options and that is basically the overview of what this particular uh, software has now you can get very very granular with what you can set up here so we're going to toggle over to page two and do a couple of demos here just so you can see what you can do with this application we can actually change the image for the boot logo right now we have it as you saw previously but we can turn it to some other designated image which i will probably do later on i might just use my own logo these are the keys i don't know what they are doing it looks like it tells you right here what the hotkey is l windows d does that mean it takes me back to my desktop possibly let's see yep it shows my desktop and it restores it cool sweaty beans what how to bean sweat and then we have something here uh well that's a lot of different key combos right there i don't know what that is but let's go ahead and press that and it brings up the on-screen keyboard in case i wanted to type so um it doesn't tell me exactly what they are because they're each not titled none of them are titled here so you want to make sure you title them so for that first one we could say desktop view right if that's what the key does I don't know what this third one does here oh it locks the screen my god i locked it it's already set up with a lot of things that you are going to use websites you can change these websites up and it looks great the way it looks here on this particular device pretty crispy and clear looking here on my camera and right here in front of my face and it has a nice level of brightness as well so just as an example of how to utilize some of these buttons i have added a website here and it went ahead and added an icon which is a pretty low resolution so basically just to show you how it works i basically just dragged this website icon over to the button it adds it and then when you actually add the url it pulls up the icon automatically and you can actually open icon library which most likely is not going to have it you're going to have to search for that online or with one of the plugins i don't see anything here but you can see it on the deck itself it gets applied automatically and then uh, once we click that it's going to take us to the site which is the mt vicky stream doc just for your viewing pleasure and will it minimize it probably not it'll just open up multiple instances of it so we'll just minimize that let's look at switching audio devices you can actually switch audio devices just add that as a button so we can select two different devices to actually toggle through so one's there and then maybe one can be i don't know the microphone so it'll toggle back and forth between speaker and headphone and there you have it take and gamers a brief intro to the mt vicky stream doc looks like it has a lot of very familiar and similar 
settings and features if you're looking for an alternative then this is one option but overall the device itself works pretty good i haven't ventured off into the depths of what the device can do as far as with plugins and managing obs and all of that stuff i'm going to play around with this for a couple of weeks and do a follow-up video and let you know how awesome it is or you're better off just getting the steam deck if you're interested in the device, links are in the description. And special shout out to MT Vicky for providing the device free of charge to test and show and demo with all you techies and gamers out there in the world looking for a pretty, I guess, different device. You don't want to go with Elgato. You hate the Elgato devices and lineup, then this is an alternate device for you. 15 buttons, pretty awesome. They work flawlessly so far. I'm going to get into plugins and see how those things work and do a follow-up video and let you know how everything is working out here in the techie world all right take it to gamers well and that's all i got for you see you later what